Hello there again guys. So, in the last video, we took a look at the Kudi WR3000E router. Now, I said I'd install OpenWRT on it in this video, and we can take a look at that. Now, in the last video, I only looked at the their default system, which technically does run OpenWRT underneath, um, but it's not a system which gives you like terminal access and you can't install packages and stuff. So you have to flash it with OpenWRT if you want to do that, the vanilla OpenWRT. Now, in my opinion, personally, I wouldn't buy this router um, unless I was going to flash OpenWRT. So I wouldn't buy it for their system, personally. That's just me personally. For some people it might be fine, but in my opinion there's like much better routers in terms of like usability and stuff. I'm not a big fan of the interface on this router by default, but it does a job. But um, but yeah, I'd, I'd personally I'd prefer OpenWRT or another system. So basically, it's very easy to flash OpenWRT on this device. In fact, OpenWRT is actually it actually worked better out of the box than um, than their own system. So the first thing you need to do is you need to head over to the OpenWRT wiki. Now on the OpenWRT wiki, you will find a page for this router and you can find the sys upgrade image and the kudi signed openwrt image now there's instructions there so i won't go through it in detail but yeah basically you go into the um kudi interface and once you download these these images um you can flash them so first you flash the kudi signed image um the kudi signed sysupgrade.bin and then once you flash that um, the system will then reboot into OpenWRT and then you flash the other image at this point the page may crash so you'll probably have to refresh the page and then the page will load up again once it's rebooted and you'll be back into the interface. You probably need to set your root password. You can enable the Wi-Fi interfaces, and you're pretty much good. There's a, there's there's a lot of it, it things. Your your wired network will work work by default. You won't have to do anything there. Um, DHCP will be enabled. Um, so for the most part, it works pretty well straight out of the box. Um, you may need you you of course you'll need to. Um, into your PPOE details for your WAN, your internet connection. So make sure you do that. But apart from that, it's pretty it's pretty easy to set up. Um, you'll want to set a Wi-Fi password and you know all the usual stuff um, because there won't be a default default one like there is on pre-installed routers and stuff. But apart from that, yeah, it's pretty easy to set up. For me personally, unlike Kudi's default system, IPv6 also worked uh, straight away out of the box. I didn't have to configure anything specific for IPv6 support. Um, and yeah, it's just it's just overall OpenWRT is obviously a better system um, than their default system. There's just a lot of packages, a lot more flexibility. You got terminal access, you got SSH. You can log in. You can, you know, run your own stuff. Um, yeah. So it's worth doing that as well. And yeah, it's pretty it's pretty easy to get open WRT onto this thing. So if you're going to get one of these routers, that's what I'd personally do. So overall, I think this router is pretty good if you're considering a device for open WRT. I think at that price point and for that use, I think it's pretty good. Um, you can get these pretty cheaply. But for their default system, I wouldn't buy it personally. That is all for this video. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.